Okay, guys, so here is the Back to Basics series that I had planned on starting back at the beginning of August, but with the Canvas learning curve, I have been delayed a little bit, um, and also working on finishing up my dissertation has had me delayed on getting this video out, but I recorded it at the beginning of August, so there's no like student information or anything in it. But this is a new planner style for me. I used to get my planners from a different company, but I opted for the eight and a half by eleven size so I would have more room. And I picked this because of the to do list section that's for each weekday. Because I I really wanted a place where I could plan out my day if I needed to. Um and it has it still has the large areas for me to write every day. But this is just a basic how I use my planner to stay organized, how I use it to keep track of what I'm doing for my consultation logs, for my mileage logs, all that stuff. So that's all in there. I hope it's helpful. Um, even if you're not a new TVI, you know, I know I, I am always working to improve my organizational skills. So Here's the video. I hope you enjoy it. If there's something else that you'd like to see in the Back to Basics series, I do have my favorite items and um, my everyday bag video coming out soon. I just haven't got to upload it yet. But enjoy it and I'll see you at the next video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have my planner here open to August since that's when my school district is planning to come back. And like I said, I just wanted to show kind of what, how I use my planner to stay organized through the school year. And um, so you can see here, my planner has a monthly layout and then I have weekly layouts. So what I do whenever I first go back to school is I go through and I write, um, I usually do about a, a week prior. So like if the IEPs due on the 21st, I'll write it on the 14th, just so that I can um, remember, make sure that I get it done. So even if I miss it or something, I know I've got a couple days, but th my goal is usually to have it done a week prior. Um, and in my monthly, go my monthly goals or monthly notes on the side here, I will write um, the IEPs that I have done or like in this um, planner, there's a monthly highlight so I can put, I'll, I'll prob I will probably in this one, since it's new for, it's a new layout for me, I've not had this kind of planner before, I'll probably put all the IEPs that are due on here. Um, and then for the weekly spreads, I have the goals for the week. Um, and I picked this layout because of the to do and the remember sections. I wanted something because my previous planner had just this kind of section, just like a general box to write on and it didn't have the to do section on the left. I wanted this because I I write rather large and I if I wrote what I needed to do that day I wouldn't have um the section to do my daily notes so I wanted to be able to list the things I needed to do that day um, that were outside of what I would normally do that day. So if I'm doing direct service on Thursday, I don't have to write that down. But if I need to email a teacher or call a parent or do an evaluation or plan um, for an assessment or something like that or get assessment materials ready, that's something that I can do in this section on the left with the to-do. So then I have all this space to write my notes. 
And if it's something that I need to absolutely remember on Thursday, like if I'm having a, uh, a meeting at central office or something like that, I can do remember. Or if there's a big, to remember, big thing that I have to do that day, I can put it in the to do today square. Um, and I, I really like this layout a lot. I'm excited to use it. I'll show you my July spread, or not spread, but layout here. So this is a blank one. Um, you can see I just added some decorative stickers and washi tape here because it gives me kind of a creative outlet. And um, I have my ha my personal habit tracker here because this is my, I, 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 I buy these. Um, and I actually, you can add in different things. So I added to-do lists. Um, and then I added the blog planning pages, which I haven't filled out for July, even though I've been working on it. Um, and you can also set a goal for your week. Um, so like here, you can see that I want to drink more water this week. I've got, I'm going to the gym a few days, and then I have these little appointment stickers that I use to, to fancy it up a little bit. Um, but that's really how I use my planner to stay organized. And um, I think it will be really good for me to be able to have this to-do list. Even if I don't use it, I can still, when I need it, I have it. But I use this to make notes on what I've done each day so that I can remember who I talked to, if I emailed anybody, if a student was having an issue, I can um, follow up with the teacher or the principal and be able to um, keep track of that. So if someone asks me why I didn't do direct service that day or why I didn't come see the kid on for a consultation that day or something, I can say, well, I had a meeting, I had to do testing, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it, I, I found that really helpful. Not that I get questioned a whole lot, but um, I like to make sure that I've got myself covered. And uh, all the layouts in this one are the same. And you can add different, um, sections if you want to like here i've got this blog planning you can do home uh cleaning workout wellness there's all types of extras that you can pay to get in here so i wanted this one because i really want to build the blog a little bit and get some more videos out for you guys and things like that so there's that, and then I actually, because I didn't realize that it was the same thing, I chose to have this blog piece added at the back. And so it has the login information, which I can use that for work. And the month, it has the same pages that were, that are behind each month. So keep that in mind whenever you order, because you can choose to have it at the back or one page a month. And then after that, I have a couple of um, dot grid um, note pages. And then I, ha I have this um, passwords, which would be good for, to keep track of all the um, learning allies and book shares and NLS and all that stuff because in apples and your stu you know you could keep your students information here if you needed it and then contacts you could put parents or teachers in there and then it comes with the holidays and the um 2022 because my planner goes through um june of 2020 to may of 2021 and then i really like this um pocket here because I can put um, extra forms that I need to carry around. I can put my planner stickers in there, which is what I have in there now. And it is two-sided, so you could put whatever in there that you needed to. And then I opted for this page 
which is just a clear um, sheet protector, which it's a very nice quality. It's pretty thick because whenever I've had my um, school calendar in these kind of pockets before, I'd either have I either have to have them folded because my pl my previous planner was much smaller, but I can have this. I know where it's at. I don't have to pull it out every time I need to look at it. So I can keep my school calendar here. And then, of course, I added a pen loop so that I don't have to keep trying to find my pen. I think, oh yeah, I've got two of these um, page protectors. So um, you could keep important documents, calendars, and things like that in there. So I would probably have my school calendar and then my direct service and consultation schedule. And if you want me to make a video on how I set up my schedule in um, Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, I can do that because that's how I use, I use that to make my schedule rather than writing it out or typing it out plain. And then, like I said, I keep my planner stickers here and, which I still have June's in there. I need to put July's. Uh, that's about it for the, how I use my planner. Um, I would show you my previous planner. I know that would be helpful, but, um, I do have students' names in there, information, private information based on my students. But like I said, I use the, um, let me go back to August. I use the weekly spreads to show where I've been, what I've been doing. If something comes up and, you know, I get a call from a student and their equipment's not working and I have to go fix it because they're using it, I can put a note in there and I don't have to try to remember. And this also helps me with my consultation logs that I use on my iPad because I don't have to worry about um, writing those down every day because I'm fairly diligent on doing this. Um, so if I've not written down my consultation log for that week or something like that, or a couple of weeks, I can go back and see the student that I worked with or who I contacted and know that they're related to that student. So that's how I use my planner to stay organized. Obviously, you know, you can make it as fancy or as plain as you want it. Um, I'll show you my July. So here you can see I just have a couple of appointment stickers. Um, I have stickers for the gym and um, my planning. I, I try to, at least the week before the new month starts, um, go through and check all my appointments, especially once school gets started. I check to make sure that I don't have any meetings. You know, I have all my meetings scheduled. I have all my um, conferences and uh, any kind of district-wide meetings that I have to go to. I ha have all that in my monthly layout. And then I also write it in my weekly layout because I can't remember anything. And that way I can flip to that as I'm going through the week, I can um, make sure that I see it. So I don't have to always look at the monthly spread, but I like it just as a quick overview. That way, if a teacher says, "Do you could you come on this day for an IEP meeting? I can quickly glance because I know I've put it on the monthly spread and say, yes, on the 23rd, I, I could come at your planning time or what it, you know, how those conversations go. So I can have a general overview here and then my detailed notes and anything that comes up extra. So if on Tuesday, I'm told on Thursday, I have to be at a, at the central office for a meeting, I can put that here. And I try to go back and put it on the month. So if somebody asks me a question about a specific day, I would have a quick reference to it, but generally you get the idea. I just, I had been asked about um, organization and planner usage and stuff like that. And I am working on a digital planner for TVIs, um, but 
I, I have tried to do digital planners and I like them, they're fine. Um, but I like a paper planner. I like to have it in my hand and there's just something about a paper planner. So, and at the beginning, of course, there's um, the, the per monthly calendars, um, special dates, ideas, plans, and goals, and then a notes page. So, and here you can see my June, how I've got it decorated. I've got washi tapes and stickers and stuff like that. Cause it just, like I said, it gives me a creative outlet and it's, but you don't have to do that. But anyway, I think that's it. And I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are having a good wrap up of your summer and I will see you guys at the next video.